What's up my special me brothers and sisters? We're back at it again with another figure review. This time we're going to be reviewing Deathstroke from 5K Toys, also known as, I'm pretty sure the name of it is Mix Max. Yeah, Mix Max. Uh, I, it's a new line, toy line company for me, so I've never got anything from them, but we're about to go on this journey and see how Deathstroke came out. Let's just uh, go ahead and get into the figure review. And here is Deathstroke in all his fame and glory. Everything on him looks really good. Aesthetically, uh, he looks like how he should be. And um, I want to say in maybe the Arkham game, the Arkham Origins game, like when he first uh, came out. That was, uh, that's a really good game, by the way. But back to the figure, he looks amazing. The... I want to say the belt buckles on him as well as the um the shotgun shells and the um the just the padded armor on him overall just looks really really good. He is without a doubt like like one of the best looking death strokes that we've had in a while on the aesthetic part. Um uh minor gripes and uh we'll get into that later of what we have on him between the uh, articulation and how things are supposed to work but like I said we'll get into that and um yeah I don't know if for the articulation it's going to be a hit for me so let's just dive into it starting with the articulation from head to toe he's able to look up about that much let's see down about that much does he have the side to sides yep a little bit and it's a good thing that my head doesn't even uh really pop off so uh that's a good thing let's see you do all the way 360 so no problem there all right now uh starting with the shoulders he can go up about that much and uh, I will talk about these these shoulder pads. They're like on this um, elastic deal right here. I don't know if you can see that. So they kind of like pop in and out from time to time. So that's, uh, that's that. And then uh, let me see. Oops. Didn't mean to shake the whole set. Okay. You're able to move them. They do get a little cumbersome because... Anytime you do kind of want to pose him, it, it just kind of, you know, it'll kind of slide down, but you have to just kind of like move it up top so that way it looks good. Same thing for the other side. If you're going to just raise it up, just make sure it goes on top of that armor. Boom. He can hit the T pose. No problem. All right. As far as him doing the curls he's got them he goes to the gym um let me see we got the swivels and the and the wrist pegs right here no problem he can do it let's see starting with the abdomen which they gave him an abdomen crunch but it's you it might as well be non-existent only because of the armor that he has so, let me see. At best, at best, that's that's as much as you're going to get right here. So, not much. I mean, let's see how far he can go back. Yeah, so you're really not going to get the best range of motion. He does have the side to sides. You're really not going to get the best range of motion when it comes to the whole... Uh, Let's see. Waste. So, I mean, kind of fails in that department. And another thing about, I do think that this piece right here, the um, the chest piece is is like way too broad. Like he can't even put like his arm over 
He can't even do like a cross arm. Only because of that piece right here. I may want to shave some off. Just so that his arms can cross. But this part right here and this part right here is just too... It's too broad. It comes out to like his inner arm. And he can't even cross up. I mean, I like it when my figures cross up. So... That sucks right there. Um, let me see. Down to the legs. It it, it kind of gets progressively worse. So when it comes to the legs, since he has so much going on. So this strap right here is a different part. Like from the actual thigh pad right here. So you'll see what I mean. So you'll be able to raise it up that much and this is the best that i'm getting i mean you could kind of in theory like mess with it so that way it doesn't kind of bunch up but this is what you're going to get that's what that's what you're left with and then that pad is that pad is independently from this the actual gun holster so in theory you could just clip that and take it off if you need to and then the same thing with this side I mean here it's just so much going on right here especially with you know the other pouches and then the knife um the the knife holster which can um can come out by the way so that's pretty nice put that back oh and the gun too sorry if I can get it out Come on. So it's just a nice brush paint on the gunmetal. The accessories that he already has on him. And then <laughs> going down to the knees. So, well, actually, let's see about the splits. Can he do some splits? No. He's not going anywhere soon with those. All right. So with the knees, again... So much going on, he's not going to be able to really bend those knees like he like he wants to. So no knee kicks. That's about as much as he's going to get. See? And it's because of this part right here that's hindering him. It's the silver part, which I will, I will end up clipping as well. Because, I mean, look. Look at that. This this uh part in the back of the calf where it meets or where it ends, like ends up getting hit by that. And yeah, you could kind of swivel it around, but still it gets hit by the other side. So failed opportunity on that. And then you have um some articulation right here at the uh at the beginning of the boot. So there's that. And then um let's see. Oh, and then this tends to slide down, you know, since it's independent and you just have to like kind of hike it back up right there. So <sighs> this, this thing is all over the place and it's not, and it's not that the figure itself or anything on it is like falling off. It's just that it has a lot going on for it that aesthetically it looks really good on the aesthetic wise like the appearance wise it, it looks good but when you get down to it to the articulation it is not it's it's not there and then the toes or actually he doesn't even have any toes it's just a foot articulation you can do that he has a little bit of a pivot but that's about it so, all in all, that's that's his articulation. Not much, but at the same time, still a lot going on. There's so much that he he can do, but can't because of the um of the armor that he has that he has on him. So now that we got the articulation out of the way, let's uh let's hit up those accessories. Let's quit playing. Okay, so starting off with the headpieces, everybody knows we start with those first. 
Come on. Let's do it. So starting off with the head pieces, we have uh, his, his um, I want to say like his mast uh, version right here. So that looks really, really, really dope. Let me see. There you go. And then he has the tassel right here in the back. And it could come apart like that in case you don't want to have him with, with the tassel. So that's pretty nice. The detail in it looks nice. It looks really, really, really good. Dang. Check out all that. Paint application was really good on that. The next headpiece that we get is this kind of like skull face, which looks really, really nice. Got the contrast there with the orange, especially with the black right there. And it's kind of like a gunmetal, so that looks really nice. Yep. Okay, now starting off with the hands, he gets a pair of kind of like open palm hands right here. Open palm hands, a pair of like grasping hands, so that way he can grasp the sword or the pistol. And then another pair of grasping hands. And I think this is going to be for like maybe the other pair of um, rifles that he has. So there's that. Uh, on to the weapon accessories. We'll start off with this. I don't really know my guns well, so don't bash me for it. So this is kind of like uh, it has the blue and the gun metal right here. So that looks really nice. See right there. Get a 360 of that. Th this really came out nice. I like this. I'm going to be posing this with other figures not necessarily him but let's see his other rifle that he has this right here looks really good man the the paint on this looks really good I like how the gold and the black really mesh together so that looks really nice okay the next one is a sniper so check that out. Check that sniper out. Oh, and I failed to mention that n none of the, um, well, all the ammo cartridges, the, the magazines, they are non-removable. So there's no taking them out. Got that. The only type of articulation we have with this is this kind of like little swivel right here. Oops, I almost knocked the camera over. Mine's a, a little warped from the front, but nothing too crazy. It's really good. It's like the Deathstroke uh, DX version, the deluxe version that we got not too long ago. It like looks identical to that. So does his um his trademark sword. Mm, let's see. Yep. Let me just take this out. So you got a sword right here. Looks pretty nice. And then the last accessory that we get, which I think is really, really nice, is his bow staff. Let me see if I can, there you go. See, that looks awesome. Let's see if I can get a close up. There we go. Got some nice detail, even in the end of it, too. Looks really good. And I don't know if this was on purpose, but you can kind of detach these on either side. And kind of, come on. Put them off to the side so that way he can kind of hold it while it's collapsed. So I did like this feature. I don't know if it was intentional but it works one of the few things that work besides the uh <laughs> the the articulation so you just put them on like that and look he exposed it so that's really cool that's going to be it for the accessories uh for my boy deathstroke 
Okay guys, so I try to put Deathstroke in some type of dynamic pose, but it's just not working. He just, my overall like thoughts on this is just, he just is overbearing with so much armor on him that he really cannot move. There's no practical use for it as uh, other than the fact that it looks really cool. Everything on him looks really cool. Like if you're going to put him on your shelf and just have him in some type of, you know, like a regular stance or just have him standing around perfect good this figure is the one for you but as far as posability and how you're gonna have him like with other figures like he'll he'll scale well with like the other figures as far as the um uh mezco ones and uh maybe maybe some of the mafex and sh figure arts but he's just a little broad and too buff uh he'll scale well with the mezcos but like I said, he just has so much going for him, but not a lot going on as far as articulation. Uh, I try to put as much accessories on him as possible so that way he can have it have it holding. But, I mean, that's going to be pretty much it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this video up on Deathstroke from Mix Match. Also, that I got him from, uh, what was the other tone line? Oh, 5K Toys. Let me know in the comment section below if he's going to be a pass or a grab. Major Piccolo shout out to all my special Bean Brothers and Sisters supporting since day one. And like I've said, the channel is lazy, but the movement ain't.